Her little hands were almost numbed with cold. Oh, a match might afford her a world of comfort if she only dared take a single one out of the bundle, draw it against the wall, and warm her fingers by it. She drew one out. Risht! How it blazed, how it burnt. It was a warm, bright flame, like a candle, as she held her hands over it. It was a wonderful light. It seemed really to the little maiden as though she were sitting before a large iron stove with burnished brass feet and a brass ornament at top. The fire burned with such blessed influence, it warmed so delightfully. The little girl had already stretched out her feet to warm them too, but the small flame went out. The stove vanished. She had only the remains of the burnt out match in her hand. She rubbed another against the wall. It burned brightly, and where the light fell on the wall, there the wall became transparent, like a veil, so that she could see into the room. On the table was spread a snow-white tablecloth. Upon it was a splendid porcelain service, and the roast goose was steaming famously with its stuffing of apple and dried plums. And what was still more capital to behold was, the goose hopped down from the dish, reeled about on the floor with knife and fork in its breast till it came up to the poor little girl when the match went out and nothing but the thick, cold, damp wall was left behind. She lighted another match. Now there she was, sitting under the most magnificent Christmas tree. It was still larger and more decorated than the one which she had seen through the glass door in the rich merchant's house. Thousands of lights were burning on the green branches, and gaily colored pictures, such as she had seen in the shop windows, looked down upon her. The little maiden stretched out her hands toward them when the match went out. The lights of the Christmas tree rose higher and higher, she saw them now as stars in heaven. One fell down and formed a long trail of fire. Someone is just dead, said the little girl. For her old grandmother, the only person who had loved her and who was now no more, had told her that when a star falls, a soul ascends to God. She drew another match against the wall. There was again light, and in the luster there stood the old grandmother, so bright and radiant, so mild, and with such an expression of love. Grandmother, cried the little one, oh, take me with you. You go away when the match burns out. You vanish like the warm stove, like the delicious roast goose, and like the magnificent Christmas tree and she rubbed the whole bundle of matches quickly against the wall, for she wanted to be quite sure of keeping her grandmother near her. And the matches gave such a brilliant light that it was brighter than at noonday. Never formerly had the grandmother been so beautiful and so tall. She took the little maiden on her arm, and both flew in brightness and in joy so high, so very high, and then above was neither cold, nor hunger, nor anxiety. They were with God. But in the corner, at the cold hour of dawn, sat the poor girl, with rosy cheeks and with a smiling mouth, leaning against the wall, frozen to death on the last evening of the old year. Stiff and stark sat the child there with her matches, of which one bundle had been burnt. She wanted to warm herself, people said. No one had the slightest suspicion of what beautiful things she had seen. No one even dreamed of the splendor in which, with her grandmother, she had entered on the joys of a new year. I realize that was a bit of a downer, but it really is a 
beautiful story. How much time am I? <laughs> okay. If you haven't already, this would be a great time to donate on 30hourday.org. 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Okay. I am going to now read something a little more modern. This is a story titled The Christmas Present from 1922. It's written by Rich Mall Crompton, who was also the author of the Just William stories. The Christmas Present by Rich Mall Crompton. Mary Clay looked out of the window of the old farmhouse. The view was dreary enough, hill and field and woodland, bare, colorless, mist-covered, with no other house in sight. She had never been a woman to crave for company. She liked sewing. She was passionately fond of reading. She was not fond of talking. Probably she could have been very happy at Crom Farm, alone. Before her marriage, she had looked forward to the long evenings with her sewing and reading. She knew that she would be busy enough in the day, for the farmhouse was old and rambling, and she was to have no help in the housework. But she looked forward to quiet, peaceful, lamplit evenings, and only lately, after ten years of married life, had she reluctantly given up the hope of them. For peace was far enough from the old farm kitchen in the evening. It was driven away by John Clay's loud voice, raised always in orders or complaints or in the stumbling, incoherent reading aloud of his newspaper. Mary was a silent woman herself and a lover of silence, but John liked to hear the sound of his voice he liked to shout at her, to call for her from one room to another. Above all, he liked to hear his voice reading the paper out loud to her in the evening. She dreaded that most of all. It had lately seemed to jar on her nerves till she felt she must scream aloud. His voice going on and on, raucous and sing-song, became unspeakably irritating. His Mary, summoning her from her household work to wherever he happened to be, his get my slippers or bring me my pipe, exasperated her almost to the point of rebellion. Get your own slippers had trembled on her lips but had never passed them, for she was a woman who could not bear anger. Noise of any kind appalled her. She had borne it for ten years, so surely she could go on with it. Yet today, as she gazed hopelessly at the wintry countryside, she became acutely conscious that she could not go on with it. Something must happen. Yet what was there that could happen? It was Christmas next week. She smiled ironically at the thought. Then she noticed the figure of her husband coming up the road. He came in at the gate and round to the side door. Mary? She went slowly in answer to the summons. He held a letter in his hand. Met the postman, he said, from your aunt. She opened the letter and read it in silence. Both of them knew quite well what it contained. She wants us to go over for Christmas again, said Mary. He began to grumble. She's as deaf as a post. She's most as deaf as a mother was. She ought to know better than to ask folks over when she can't hear a word anyone says. Mary said nothing. He always grumbled about the invitation at first, but really he wanted to go. He liked to talk with her uncle. He liked the change of going down to the village for a few days and hearing all its gossip. He could quite well leave the farm to the hands for that time. 
The crude deafness was proverbial. Mary's great-grandmother had gone stone deaf at the age of 35. Her daughter had inherited the affliction, and her granddaughter, the aunt with whom Mary had spent her childhood, had inherited it also at exactly the same age. All right, he said at last, grudgingly, as though in answer to her silence. We'd better go. Write and say we'll go. It was Christmas Eve. They were in the kitchen of her uncle's farmhouse. The deaf old woman sat in her chair by the fire, knitting. Upon her sunken face, there was a curious sardonic smile that was her habitual expression. The two men stood in the doorway. Mary sat at the table, looking aimlessly out of the window. Outside, the snow fell in blinding showers. Inside, the fire gleamed onto the copper pots and pans, the crockery on the old oak dresser, the hams hanging from the ceiling. Suddenly, James turned. Jane, he said. The deaf woman never stirred. Jane! Still, there was no response upon the enigmatic old face by the fireside. Jane! She turned slightly toward the voice. Get them photos from upstairs to show John, he bawled. What about boats? She said. Photos, roared her husband. Coats? She quavered. Mary looked from one side to the other. The man made a gesture of irritation and went from the room. He came back with a pile of picture postcards in his hand. It's quicker to do a thing oneself, he grumbled. They're what my brother sent from Switzerland, where he's working now. It's a fine land to judge from the views of it. John took them from his hand. She gets worse, he said, nodding towards the old woman. She was sitting, gazing at the fire, her lips curved into the curious smile. Her husband shrugged his shoulders. Aye, she's nigh as bad as her mother was. And her grandmother. Aye, it takes longer to tell her to do something than to do it myself. And deaf folks get a bit stupid, too. Can't see what you mean. They're best to earth. They're best let alone. The other man nodded and lit his pipe. Then James opened the door. A snow stopped, he said. Shall we go to the end of the village and back? The other nodded and took his cap from behind the door. A gust of cold air filled the room as they went out. Mary took a paper-backed book from the table and came over to the fireplace. Mary! She started. It was not the sharp, querulous voice of the deaf old woman. It was more like the voice of the young aunt whom Mary remembered in childhood. The old woman was leaning forward, looking at her intently. Mary! A happy Christmas to ye! And, as if in spite of herself, Mary answered in her ordinary low tones. The same to you, Auntie. Thank ye, thank ye. Mary gasped. Aunt, can you hear me speaking like this? The old woman laughed silently, rocking to and fro in her chair, as if with pent-up merriment of years. Yes, I can hear ye, child. I've always heard ye. Mary clasped her hand eagerly. Then you're cured, aunt. I am cured as far as there was ever anything to be cured. You? I was never deaf, child, nor never will be, please God. I've took you all in fine. Mary stood up in bewilderment. You? 
never deaf? The old woman chuckled again. Now, nor my mother, nor her mother neither. Mary shrank back from her. I, I don't know what you mean, she said unsteadily. Have you been pretending? I'll make you a Christmas present of it, dearie, said the old woman. My mother made me a Christmas present of it when I was your age, and her mother made her one. I haven't a lass of my own to give it to, so I'll give it to you. It can come on quite sudden-like if you want it, and then you can hear what you choose and not hear what you choose. Do you see? She leaned nearer and whispered. You're shut out of it all, of having to fetch and carry for them, answer their daft questions and run their errands like a dog. I've watched you, my lass. You don't get much peace, do you? Mary was trembling. Oh, I don't know what to think, she said. I, I couldn't do it. Do what you like, said the old woman. Take it as a present anyways, the crude deafness for a Christmas present. She chuckled. Use it or not as you like. You'll find it main amusing anyways. And into the old face there came again that curious smile as if she carried in her heart some jest fit for the gods on Olympus. The door opened suddenly with another gust of cold air, and the two men came in again, covered with fine snow. I, I'll not do it, whispered Mary, trembling. We didn't get far, it's coming on in again, remarked John, hanging up his cap. The old woman rose and began to lay the supper, silently and deftly, moving from cupboard to table without looking up. Mary sat by the fire, motionless and speechless, her eyes fixed on the glowing coals. Any signs of the deafness in her? whispered James, looking towards Mary. It come on my wife just when she was that age. Aye, so I've heard. Then he said loudly, Mary! A faint pink color came into her cheeks, but she did not show by look or movement that she had heard. James looked significantly at her husband. The old woman stood still for a minute with a cup in each hand and smiled her slow, subtle smile. <laughs> thank you, Curtis. Really hey. appreciate oh, it. Thank you, Rick. My story. pleasure. Shot. <laughs> so, um, thanks again for having Curtis here. We'll pull the shot out a little bit so I don't have to crowd. <laughs> but um, wanted to mention that we are up to 1565 in terms of donations, and so Curtis great. has contributed, getting us up higher. That is great. I um, want to remind you that at 4 a.m., you will want to stay tuned for this. I mean, we're going to do something cool over here, so you can watch that. But come back at 4 a.m., because we're going to be doing the Whippies pie eating competition. We have some worthy contestants who have just shown up or have been here or whatever. I, I'm not allowed to be involved. <laughs> the pies are tasty. I love them, but I cannot eat nine and a bite or whatever. Is that the record? Yeah, it's nine is the record. Nine pies. So in what amount of time? In an hour. An hour? Okay. Have you ever had a Whippies pie before? I have not. Okay. You I have not had the you pleasure. You may want to stick around for yeah, it. Absolutely. Maybe you could be the next pie champ. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, you never can tell. Stranger things have happened. Um, so that will be coming up. And uh, we'll, we won't just have you watch. Can you? What? Is it out? Turn it on? Why would I do that? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, how about that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is live streaming. This isn't perfect. What was all that funny all stuff, that stuff I said? Again?
I said some funny stuff, yeah. Did you pick me up on his mic at all? I'll just lean into Curtis's mic. Okay, so uh, again, thank you, Curtis. We'll go through this really quickly for those of you who can read lips. Um, donations are up to 1565. You can see that right down there. Thank you, everyone who has donated. You're, you're doing a great job. And tell your friends, tell your family. We'd love to see some more for these charities. Um, 4 a.m., we're going to do something over here. I'll introduce that in a second. But at 4 a.m., Whiffy's is going to be here. Um, and they make these little tasty fried pie things. They're not quite little. They're about that big. And um, they are going to have a pie eating contest at 4 a.m. And some of the some of the contestants are. They look they look psyched. I can see two of them from here. And they're like, <laughs> I can't wait for pie. They have to eat nine of them in a bite. And if they eat... More than five, they get a free Whiffy's t-shirt. So everybody's a winner. Everybody's a winner. All you have to do is choke down five pies, boys. <laughs> you make it sound so appealing. It's yummy. They're really good. One is really good. I don't know <laughs> any more than that. But um, So that'll be cool. Show up for that. And right now, we are... Cammie, are you ready over there on the other? He's ready. All right, sweet. So Cammie's over there. I'm going to throw you over there. Again, thank you, Curtis. Thank Great you. having you there. And here's Cammie. My and people, I'll wander over there. They're back. Hi, people. How are you? I have a whole 30-hour day board behind me. I'm very excited. I feel almost ready. Although I'm not sure who has the idea it was for to take Rick away from me. I'm back, Rick. What are we going to do? I'm a little tall in the shot. Hello. Really? Are you wearing heels? I am. I have my heels on. Because I have heels, too. And I'm wearing my docks, so they kind of pop me up All right, so bit. let's not talk about our footwear. What? Because oh. I feel short. Are I they sponsoring? No. Yeah. We've, got, <sighs> we've got an audience. Oh hi! I was just over there. Now it's I'm here. like it's like it's like it's noon, and we're like perky and awake Dude, and I'm stuff. I'm so awake. I, I kind of am, and it's kind of sad. Uh, Come here. We're good. Okay, we're, we're better being in directed. The shot now. Right. We're gonna Thank do improv you. games now. We could use some direction. Now, originally, be busy the we rest thought of the week? if no. we just went over into this purple zone right here, right. it would be really torturous for Rick. There's some lows but then, here in the Pennsylvania area. I thought, what if we area? went over here, and then Ooh, it would be extra, super The mitten torturous. of Michigan is looking really chilly. But, uh, so this idea was actually born sitting at my dining room table with, like uh, with Ms. D here. having some other random 30-hour day planning. When she mentioned, hey, I've got this big box of stuff. Maybe you guys want to uh, use it for something? And I said, no. And then I said, but wait a minute. Oh, no. What if? What if we could really freak out Rick to Rosie idea. and make him do improv games? And Ms. D thought that was a great idea. So <laughs> then I like called Megan. This is like a bad MTV video from like 1983. And Megan thought it was a super great idea. Well, oh no, and I don't I like that Rick, angle at all. And then I asked Rick, and what did Rick say? Do not turn on that camera, what did, whatever you do. What did Rick say? I said no. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I no. feel like I'm fine. No, back. <laughs> I'm okay. I have a nice supportive bra on. He can shoot from that angle yeah, all he yeah, wants to. It doesn't bother me. <sighs> Rick said, no thank you. And I said, tough. You're going to do it, you big baby. Yeah. We'll do it late, late, late when your resistance is down. That's great. Hey, have I put makeup on hey, you? Hey, look. Greg's here. Woo! I can't even see him, but I believe you. <laughs> hey! All right. Back With to the... You're trying to get here. out of it? I am. I, are we starting the pie eating contest now? No. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. We're I'll out of the shot again. I can't do this. Right oh, here. Okay. Okay. Fine. It's time. We need a mark for Mr. Trojan. You missed here. the lint on my shirt. You know what? Don't even care. Whoa! No, see, you do well. care. I told you. Okay, so anyway, improv games. I think we're going to start with party games. Okay. Party quirks. Yep. And I'm the host. You're the host. Are you ready? I guess. Are you who's a big my, boy? Can who's you do my this? first guest? Oh, we'll find out soon. Who's coming on first? Megan Kay? Okay. All right, so I'm putting my little party together. I'm so excited to have all my guests show up. Oops, I'm off the green screen. <laughs> for my party and stuff. And hopefully, oh, Wait, what's that? No, you can't. Don't, don't Doorbell? show it in the lower third. Show it in the lower third, because I'll be able to guess them really quickly. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Can I have a card with the what they're playing? <laughs> Or is that ruin the game? Oh, no! Damn. I can't tell where I am. All right, fine. You guys suck. 
I hate this. You're I'm gonna quitting. You're going to have to keep him All right. on camera. So I'm putting my party together. Mm-hmm. It's a ding dong. Hello. Oh, hi. I'm not, I don't even know if we're in the shot, but come on in. Hi, Rick. Hi, it's great to see hi, you again. You too. How have you been since the, the, the thing? Oh, I'm just so tired. I'm really? Sure, yeah, just, hmm. just like you, I'm sure. That No, I'm fine. I can really... Thank you. She's not touching him. I can him. really <laughs> use a drink right A now. drink, yeah? Hmm, yeah? I wonder who you are. You. What? Tighter? No. Tighter? I could really Hello. use a drink. Okay. I, would you like a martini? I would love a martini. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dirty, dry, Bombay martini, perhaps? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, but I would love all of okay. those things. Do you like nice. olives? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, okay, go ahead, go ahead and have a seat. Okay, I'll and I'll, put I'll, I'll, go, I'll go get some drinks okay. put together. And, and okay. Oh, no, I, actually, you're the best bartender I know, so why don't you go ahead and mix them? I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. That would be great. I'll take care of it. Okay, d- uh, ding dong. Hello. Oh, hi. Hey, hi. hey. Hi, how are you? Good. It's good hi. to see you again. Oh, yeah, it's, it's always, good, always good to see you. When, when, was, when was the last time I saw you? About 60 seconds ago. Really? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. That's great. Um, yeah, so what, what have you been up to? You know well, let's see. I, um, I, you know, I've got this blog that's keeping me really busy. Yeah. I have a bunch of things that I do during the day that nobody actually really knows anything huh. about. Interesting. Uh, it's like a consulting gig or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not actually sure what I do. Are you but good at fun. looking busy? I'm really good at looking okay, busy. Good. My family never sees me. That's important. You have a family. But, hmm. but, but. I look busy, I stay busy, yeah. and there's some web thing that I do every once in a while. Can, can I get you a drink? Absolutely. Okay, well, uh, Cami Chaos is over there making martinis. Oh. So if you'd like to go over and help her, then that would be great. And uh, if you want to get on Silicon Florist and do a post while that, you're there, that would be that, cool, too. Yeah. So why don't because you go ahead and do that? I, I feel like during 30-hour days, somebody should. Right? Somebody should <laughs> be blogging, because you're not, obviously. Okay, ding, ding hey, dong. Yeah. Hello. I'm out of shot, because I can't see my monitor. What? Behave oh. you yourself. Who? I don't know who's on. Ding dong. Go, ding dong. Who's who's next? Hello. Hello, Mr. Oh, Truck. It's oh, so hi. Good to meet you. Yeah, great. Hi. hi. I, need to, I need to start. Um, just, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling okay. 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 Yeah, sure. A little I'm, tired. I'm maybe. noticing you've got martinis over there. Do you have coffee? I had two people mix martinis okay. for me, and then I um, made them leave so okay. that I could drink them. Okay. But um, you're looking a little peaked. Yeah, I'm just like tired. Tired. That's interesting. I'm noticing a little bit of bangs around the eyes here. Yes. You seem to have a, a bit of a second wind. Really? But oh, I thought you were going to say a second no. chin. Because yeah. I do have one of those, too. No, that's not my, that's oh. not my area. All right. So, um, um, hmm. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Can I get something for you? Um, you know what? I have had everything I need because I've been working at this for a really long time. Okay. I, uh, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm checking you out here. I'm thinking that maybe, what's it been about... Do you need to bounce around a little 40 bit? 40 hours now? Yeah. Already? Yes. Can, yeah. I'm sure. Because I can see that. No idea. Um, um, okay, so. You can take some no more No coffee? Notes. No, I'm fine. Okay. You don't, but do you drink coffee? I mean, at this point in well, the process, sure. do you drink coffee? Well, sure. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then later in the process, maybe you have, um, I don't know, chocolate covered espresso beans or. Uh, sure. Or uh, energy drinks. Uh, I, I just have a little energy. And did, how did that affect this whole thing? Well, apparently right. I still have the bags in my eyes. Yeah, I know. And okay. the second chin. Didn't do anything about that either. Okay. Or, nor did I make it through puberty, Ding apparently, dong. because now my thing. Oh, there's another guest. Oh, good. Why don't you can, wait right here? Maybe I'll let you guys chat so yeah, I can figure out who the hell you are. Oh. Come on in. No, come on in. That's great. Glad you're here. Yeah, there you are. Oh. Could you just go sit down and do something? Like what? <laughs> you know what? Why don't you just take care of that part of it what? and just let me do my thing, okay? Oh. I'm talking about 60 hours for you. I mean, that's... Okay. Oh. So is there anything I can get you there? No, you can sit down. Well, and I don't... Mm. <laughs> People what? don't touch me. I do, uh, it's a touching. I'm so confused. My first two guests were so charming. And then these people showed up. I'm sure they were very, very charming. Oh, I got Maybe they were doing what they were supposed to do. Yeah. 
if I did yeah. what I was supposed to do? Yeah. Then I could get, look, goof off look, all the time? I spent the entire day at the office and then I had to drive like, so did you an have hour. So did you get mad when you had to upload Meme PDX when you got home? Well, yeah, because you made me do it every okay, week. Okay, that's fine. So, Dr. Normal, why don't you get back to the board and like adjust the levels or something? And I still would really love to know who you are, but I'm having a hard time with it. Well, I'm so sorry, but I, I have to go home and work on this research project. Yeah. And this was a perfect opportunity to do it because you people have been up all night. Uh, and I'm getting all this data, and it's fantastic. I'm going to go home and plug no it idea. into my system, and I'm going to have all this information about what it's like to stay up for hours and hours and hours. No and I really appreciate that. Well, we yeah. haven't met before. So we haven't it's met. It's okay if you don't know my name, but this is just this is my business, and uh, you know it makes me a little jittery too, being up all night trying to deal with you I people know, who are up all night. Yes, we are hard so, people to deal with. I know, I know. I'm gonna, so have to, I'm gonna hit three out of four because I don't know if I can get you. Well, that's okay because in sleep deprivation research, a scientist were not very well known. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> we work on it. All right, cool. <laughs> I got all the easy ones. I just couldn't get the hard ones. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna go so I'm not charming? Yeah, no, you're, <laughs> that's cool. If I put cool. my hat on? Dude, well, yeah, I mean, put the hat on. It might be time for me to fall asleep. Yeah, oh, go oh, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's, oh, there you go. I, oh, there you go, there you go. Nice. Where's the glasses? Excellent. I, he could yeah. probably take them. He's probably driving with them on. I was waiting for you to say, and I need to go pick up a keyboard. I was asleep right now, but I'm still Twittering. <laughs> well, don't we all Twitter in our sleep? So yeah. And Rick Ferozzi writes blog posts in his sleep. That's right. No, he doesn't. No, I don't. I don't even write them. I have small He's children. Do them. So uh, that was a fun game, and Cammy apparently has another one up her sleeve for us. Well, should we do the alphabet? Yeah. Okay. Can okay. Hear us? Are we in tight enough in the shot? We protect there. Okay. Yeah. If we can't. Okay. If you yell loud enough, you've got our microphones. They can't hear. Can you? Yeah. Do we need a? <laughs> All right. What? Oh, it is? So what we need, and there's well, not that many of you. I we need to I thought this was his show. We yeah. need somebody. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Can we be happy now? Dozens and dozens of listeners. Okay, so we need somebody to give us a situation. We need a situation, Brian. Hockley, situation. We're at a single bar. We're at a single oh, bar. Excellent. And what letter of the alphabet? Somebody choose a letter of the alphabet. P. 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 And Rick can start. And this is the sentence one? This is the sentence one. Perhaps you've been to a singles bar before. Quite a long time. Is it just you and me? Or do we do yeah, everybody? Oh, we need some music. Okay, good. No, you, I did the cue. Okay, good. Go. I thought you were torturing me. Yeah. Really, it's been hard. it really it's been that long since you've been to a single bar? Now me again? No, no, no. We have to stand in order so that Rick doesn't I get confused. confused. Is that an R? R. That was R. R. Okay. All right. So now it's for me. It's an R. Yeah. No. S. Oh, no. no. S. 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 So our S. I suppose. No, no. I it doesn't start with the letter. Or suppose I like were at a singles bar. Which singles mm -hmm. bar would I be at? Too many to choose from. Under these circumstances, I consider we just move along. Very reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we're not talking about the game? No. Xylophones! I say we skip this one. All right, done. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and scene. <laughs> This is yeah. not good. If you're watching, right, we're plan this out. If you're watching this on TV, just go ahead and fast forward. This yeah, fast forward. Fast forward. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't oh, skip props. this one. Okay, we oh, yeah, have two teams. Props. Two oh, teams. Oh, two teams. Why don't you guys? I'll be the one that cuts it. Oh. oh. I'll just hand the props over. What if? Okay. So, do you guys know how this works? Go, why don't you explain it, Cam? Okay. So what happens is there are there's a bucket of props, and we will each be handed a prop, and the team has to come up with different things to do with the props and actually be entertaining for a moment or two. For once. For, like, for, for, just for, for once like, in the whole 30 hours. Hey, I thought Megan was charming, sweet, and wonderful, and amazing when she I was. You were. You still were. I always oh. am when I'm you. Yeah, I like Which that. Really. As long as you're not doing it when I'm here. I mean, like, you know. Only sometimes. Ah! Jeez. Thanks. It's a prop! Dust. You're probably <laughs> putting lint on me. You're all lint. Yeah, well, 
Ouch. Oh, so we're what, two teams, right? It gets harder when I'm, when I'm kind of manic. Right, so what? Well, that's oh, your prop? Yeah. What's our prop? Yeah. Oh. Excellent. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. It's, it's a prop. You have you're to come up to with something. You have to use it in a way that, like, yeah. So it's okay, not so when do we start? They're starting. So now you have to do a showgirl dance. All right. Right. Nice. All right. And two. Oh. You can tell how often I've done showgirl dances. Yeah. There. See, that's all you have to do. Oh, perfect. Very simple. Uh, you want me to start? Yeah. And then it's your turn? Yeah. I'm not so sure, sure the breast augmentation surgery went like I wanted it to. That's what you're supposed to do. That now you give Megan Kate the feather dress. And then it's her turn. She has to do better than me. Really? <laughs> and when did you give birth to Fuzzy? It's a cat. A oh, cat. oh, right. It, a I totally cat. got that with feathers. Am I the only person that knows what, what cats are? Whoa. Are you going to bring it to the nose? Look at the floor. <laughs> oh, my God. The floor is awesome. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm trying to do my cat. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the fuzzy, the fuzzy cat can give you little licks. You know, no fair trading props. At, 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 They're all mine. At this point, we would say, let's go to commercial. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can we break? Oh, we got new props coming. New props. Right, new props. I feel good about these props. Oh. <laughs> I don't even want to see what you're going to do. Oh, you did? No, please. Go you know, the last time he told me that my shirt wasn't tucked in <laughs> and that there was something wrong with my hair. I just cooked producer Mike. Nice. <laughs> so that's where he's been. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mike. <laughs> Go, pit <laughs> helmet. Welcome to Portland Walking Tours. <laughs> we're walking, we're walking. <laughs> we're walking. Keep 30 walking. hour day, 30 hour day. We're walking, we're walking. We're going to see the filming of 30 hour day. There's, the, there's pie. There's I hear there's pie. It's spelled P-I-A, there's not actually pie there. No, no. Well, there is What's pie. What's he doing here, then? There's a pie guy well, right, right there. Well, not right now. Oh. Yeah, it hasn't started yet. What are we going to do? Can, can we, can, we so uh, can, can I phone a friend? Yeah. Yes. Call for a lifeline. Can I come phone a friend? I want to phone a friend. Okay. Yeah. I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to phone, phone a friend. Hello, hello, yeah. friend. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Come on. Come See on, See what you man. can do with this. Have fun. We've been here for hours. Oh, he <laughs> tapped out. He did. He tapped out. Here. There you go. go, go <laughs> See you later. All right. You All do right. what you can there, Greg. Just, yeah. What does that mean, bones for the board? It's the bone pie. It's going to be tasty. Get it next week or with you. Yes, you know, that's when it was funny that we just left Greg on stage by himself. <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. watched. I was out of the shot. Oh, there. Oh. See? It's a lot. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, he's going to keep going. Oh, no. He's just going to grab more props and clean it up. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, he's an archaeologist. Nice. And well now, done. Do do just throw him another pop. I feel like we're Just keep off. loading him up. Go, Greg, go. Greg, go. No, no, like this is Greg of Whippies, everyone. The man is a genius and a pilot. What a great transition. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, those are beautiful. There we go. <laughs> he's, he's a fairy archaeologist. That's great. Just let Greg go. Yeah, Greg, you just can you just take it for a little while? Oh, your pimp cup. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> now all of a sudden, I'm Indiana Jones. <laughs> We've already got one. I told him we already had one. Hi. <laughs> this is not all this is entertainment play, right, right here. Just find a random sucker and stick him on the stage. <laughs> Leave him out there to die. Uh -huh. well, yes and, yes and, yes and. Yes he knows and. that we love him and Innocent. not just for his pies. No, no, no. We love him for his mind. The beautiful thing. Let's just do this for the next hour. I think that would be awesome. No, oh. <laughs> no, I'm going to wear this. I like this. I'm not part taking part in the skit. This is just my new thing. <laughs> no. It's getting late.
late, folks. We gotta get out of here. Happy. Thanks for that. Yeah, sure. That no problem. Cheers. Now I have another one for you. Right, okay. I, hate it. So I can't do the hula hoop. It's not don't, big enough for me. Good try. Is that, we, I don't really get the hula hoop guy on here. No, we don't have the hula hoop. Come on. It's not big enough for me. There you go. That is <laughs> I need a bigger one. <laughs> You're small. He did you this. <laughs> Nice. If Good. I, no, Keep going. I didn't learn from the A dollar guy. for every minute no, she can do this. It's going to fall if you say that. Keep going. Ah. Oh. See, that's 50 you say cents. That you owe us 50 cents. It's going to fall. Thank you. How about the hula hooping Viking <laughs> singer thing to do this? It's all in the hips. There you go, babe. Nice. <laughs> Are we still streaming this? What do you think? This hours? is what we do at my house like every day. This is just kind of the way we do stuff. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Are we through? I don't Are know. Is it, is it pie time? We're about 15, I think we're about 10 or 15 minutes from pie. I'd say we pull But since up, we've know been what? bugging Greg, I don't know if that's put us behind schedule. No, I say not. we let him do his thing. Okay. Yes, oh, take you the hat. Oh, you go and prepare things. Right. Why don't we do I know what we do, Rick. Watch this. I have a great idea. Okay. Let's get chairs. Okay. Oh, we do have an interview segment. You're right. Yes. How many do we need? We just need two. Okay. We just got to go and get things ready. You and I, we're going to banter. Oh, banter. Yeah, right. it's banter. banter time. Let me know if I can help there. Yes, you're very useful. <laughs> Oh, there's the production team. Go production! All right. I think we're ready for banter time. Okay. It's I can do a, a little banter. Yeah, it's been a while. We haven't, we haven't recast things. No, we had a great DJ set that took a couple hours, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. And yeah. uh, that, I mean, that not, improv. I don't, I don't even think our mics are live. Are our mics live? Are we hot? Okay. Yeah, we're hot. Okay, well, we're, we're ready for banter. Yeah. So, yeah. So that improv doing... was really impressive. That was so impressive. Whoa, sorry. You know are what? We on? Hello, hey, welcome back. 30 hour day. Glad to see you. Look, I have a 30 Good. hour day t shirt. It's on a you list of uh, Robert sure. Wagner's pet peeves people that wear t shirts for their own. Uh, I... Project. He won't be back till later. He'll be fine. Just saying. It bothers him. I bet if you made him a 30 hour day t shirt, you would wear it. But it's it. not his project. Like, He'd still wear it. He's it would been, be a, no, 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 no. Now listen. No, 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 no. Robert Wagner was one was, of the first people on say, board. You've never done that to me before. I'm kind of proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> I usually just talk right over you. I don't worry about interrupting. So I think you missed the point, though. Oh, go ahead. It's not that Robert Wagner would object to a 30 hour day shirt, it's just that this is like our project, yeah, and I'm wearing, wearing the 30 hour day shirt. Yeah, so yeah. while he might wear a 30 hour day shirt, he might think it's kind of lame that I'm wearing one. It'd be like him wearing a PDX FM. Correct. Shirt. However, I'm wearing the shirt. Yeah, I think it's cool. Well, and I did want to say, in all seriousness, when we first came up with this idea, one of the first people we talked to was Robert Wagner mm -hmm. of PDX and he was Sucks awesome. and PDX FM, and he was immediately all in. Mm -hmm. And uh, you may even be listening to us right now on PDX FM because they're simulcasting all 30 hours, which is awesome. That's a very good point. Someone yeah. might be listening to us on that. They very well may be. Can I point out that these, these lights, despite their soft glow, are hot. They are hot. All the lights in here are hot, hot, hot. Aren't, and we I, got nothing going back here. I get a little confused when I'm saying, aha, oh, when we're sitting you. in front of a green screen and there's nothing there's happening, nothing. I get scared. There's nothing. Are we going to do Mean PDX in these things? We could do Mean PDX. In yeah. these chairs? Yeah, I like it. We might have to swivel a little. Oh. So I mean, the, our, these don't swivel like our chairs. No, I'll just. I no. Hmm. I don't we'll know. We'll figure it out. So. Yeah. yeah. Wh how are, we're like we're like a third of the way through. Yeah, a little over a third of the way. Mm -hmm. It's all. It's cake. Cake now. from here. No problem. We're fine. First ten hours are the hardest. That's you know, what they we don't say. even have like a cameraman attending to our camera. <laughs> anymore. No one really cares that we're even on. What? We will in a second. Is it time? Do we have all the contestants? We're ready. How many do we have? Do I have to eat? 
You may have, no. He is. <laughs> no. May I have one pie? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, in case you, just to give you guys the, the lowdown, in this case you just. This is early. Yeah, in case We're you just tuned early. in. I don't, I'm not comfortable starting early because I don't see all of our contestants. Uh, okay, so, well, let's give you the, let's give you the lowdown on what's happening. I so, wa I want to get into what first? They can really can't do anything to us. It's okay. our show. No, oh, right. Yeah, you go it's ahead. Our show. You're running the show. So, as I was saying, it's our what? 11, 11, 11 We've been doing this for a while, and we're kind of tired, and we're kind of hungry, but that was the point, although I'm going to eat a pie soon. One pie. Should we at least tell them a little bit about Whiffy? We're going to. Oh, we're okay. getting there. How much money have answer. we raised? Like a little over 1500 Yeah, we were, we were 1565 and I seriously doubt. Um, oh, pr producer Brian is checking. Okay, producer Brian is checking the money. We're, we're awake. We had originally built in the Electronica session so that we could maybe get a little cat nap if we needed yeah. it. There was no napping. Didn't happen. 1565 still. 1565. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you very much, That's producer awesome. Brian. And so we had built that segment into sleep, and we wound up having a really great time and staying up and doing stuff. Yeah. This next segment that we're going to have, which is the Whippy's Pie Champion, otherwise known as Pie Champ. Pie Champ. You get a hat that says Pie Champ. The current uh -huh. Pie Champ record is nine pies and That's one bite. Nine pies. There are some rules. All pies must be consumed in one hour, and there cannot be any Roman incidents, which is gross. Yes, let's please not I'm do not that. I'm not going to tell anyone what a Roman incident is. If you don't know, you don't you want to You can go look it up if you're really that curious. Yeah, it's go to cool. the Wikipedia. Not, it's got a lot of information I'm not on discussing it. it. The Wikipedia does have a lot of it information does. It does. It will help you figure out what that means with Roman incidents. Without me having to tell you. Right. And so... Uh, so yeah, but Whiffies, for folks who may just be tuning in, who aren't in Portland, maybe oh, you're... Oh, maybe if you're not in Portland, maybe yeah, you Yeah, maybe don't you're know. in Scotland and you're like, I like deep fried stuff. Yeah, so I what, do. So <laughs> what Whiffies is... Those Scottish is a, people. ...is a little pie, a little deep fried pie. It's not that little. It's about that big. No, well, you said little. Why do you show things with your middle fingers like you're flipping everybody off? Because I'm kind of mad. Are oh, you mad at me? Sorry. Yes. You didn't give me the signal. Really? No. no. <laughs> that was fake. It was fake. You Chill. can't do the fake signal. Oh, right. It's like, okay. That defeats the point of the signal. Anyway. <laughs> so Whiffy's makes really tasty little fried pies. Mm -hmm. And uh, What's your favorite? You know, I don't really have a favorite. I know what Cammie's favorite is, so why don't I'm I ask? I'm not even going to. No. Hey, Cammie, what's your favorite? You know me so well, you can tell them. Cammie likes the lemon. I don't like it. She loves it. The way I will not describe the way you did eat bring the lemon me a pie. lemon pie, didn't you? Don't make the face. Uh, he's making this like maybe that guy, I forgot a lemon, the pie. He's a lemon pie tease. Maybe I forgot so be like, the oh, yeah. pie. We lemon got lemon. Pie. Come on over. And then it's like all we have is I don't know. There's that Vegemite one. for that those of you in Australia. Grape, grape pies, oh, nice. <laughs> just all grape. It's all just, all Robitussin grapes. <laughs> Robitussin cough syrup pies yes. is what we're eating. Greg tonight. says there's only grape pies. Greg will have to leave. But, but he makes a lot of I, awesome I mean, flavors. Of He's lying. Sweet if somebody gets savory. to 10, I made a special all basmati rice one. <laughs> Damn. He said if anyone gets to 10, he made an all basmati rice pie. That will stop them in their yeah, tracks. Yeah, they will not move any it's further. All, okay, so. It's all crust. <laughs> all crust. Yeah, and that's, that's the challenge. Hard. I don't know if you heard Greg over there, but uh, the challenge is really the crust, mm -hmm. especially the tips. Of the crust, because that's hey. where Should it gets Should we just have really Greg bumpy. come sit? He can come over. Right in the on, middle. Greg. Yeah, come, come on over. Here. Perch. Oh, he, oh. Are you, he's mic'd or is he wired? It'll, 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 it'll reach. pull. Yeah, it'll just, reach. We just here, need Rick. a little cord management. You sit in the middle. Okay. Or just, yeah, just, yeah. You can have the big boy seat. Yeah. And I'll sit up here, out of the shot. No, I'm short. Well, and I'll sit. There you, you go. Sit up there. Okay. There, this is better. There, that's better. <sighs> Oh, Greg. What were we talking Hello. about? Oh, the pies. The, the pies. pies. Yeah. Yes, of course. So I've asked you this question before, but it wasn't on 30 Hour Day. Mm -mm. Why fried pies, dude? <laughs> um, I don't know. 
<laughs> that's what you said that's before. The, that's too. the question I get all the time, and the answer always is the same. I, I don't know. Yeah. Why, why not? You see, I'm good, man. Oh, very good. Right. Turn the question back on the answer. That's right. Here, let me have your microphone, too. <laughs> you have a microphone. <laughs> you just use your own, young man. Fine. It'll all work out. Yeah, that's good. Um, what? I, I sense some tension. Fried, fried pies seem to like it's something no one else was pies. doing. There are a lot of lemon pies. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I tend to overdo it. It's not all lemon pies, is it? Oh, that would be no. awesome. Okay, good. Because Dale doesn't eat lemon pies. Uh, uh. Dale, you don't eat lemon pies? I don't think... I just want more of them for you. There all right, you go. I accept oh, look that. at that. That's the only answer wow. I have. Give that man a medal. I have to sales adjust guy the I've ever seen one. There, I kind of want to put my foot right. How about there? Don't pat your lap when I'm having an uncomfortable chair moment. I'll sit on it. <laughs> and we're saving that for another time. That's right. Whoa. That's the Santa skit. Just <laughs> wait. Coming okay, up. so. Next on 30 so hours. I've been very nice. Since last we <laughs> talked. Since last we talked. How have the pies been going? Good. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the pie world is a good one. And what started this whole crazy ass uh, pie champ thing? Uh, this was this. I think this was Raven's idea, mm -hmm. to be frank and honest with you. Crazy Raven. Raven was Zachary. Raven was on a no sugar kick, and he was at. The, clearly, there's no sugar in your pie. No, no. So he was <laughs> he was sitting there, and he was on a no sugar kick, and he's like, I think I'm gonna eat six of these right now. And I was like, What are you talking? And he's like, Yes. And I think we should have an eating contest. And I was like, all right. And so Raven ate six. I'm pretty sure Raven ate six. Mm -hmm. And then who, Mr. Hockley, who we'll see later on here. Yeah. Started talking. Started, talk. started. He was talking smack. Is what a lot of it. There was a lot of smack talk via the Twitter. Mm -hmm. How did Hockley fare in the first time he competed? Um... I think he turned green. I was there. I didn't <laughs> hug him goodbye. If we were sitting in front of the screen here and well, we had it keyed he out, would he win. would be would, gone. There would be no Hockley face. Yeah. It would just be beard. It would be like <laughs> my shoes kind of disappearing into the... He can't even defend himself. <laughs> Grizzly. November beard. Yeah, it's The November beard, which is it, it's look, December beard. It's looking you delicious. Know what, these chairs? Super just, comfortable. Just sit down. <laughs> to sit in. Okay. There. That looks really comfortable. Here. Nope. All right, that's better. There. Okay. <laughs> Good. Dokey. There we go. Um, Getting comfy here on 30 really, hour Look, day. this is more comfortable than that was. Okay. Nice. That's fine. This is, would you like to sit on it for a while no. longer? Thank you. Okay. Really good. <laughs> This is a train wreck, is what it is. It's a train wreck waiting okay. to happen. No. I'm good with train wrecks. At donate least now. Like, yes, please. Donate, donate now. now. Maybe we can have room for another chair. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> we will buy Do a it. Chair. Do it now. I, my pointy we, shoes are in Craig's leg. You, are we ready for the pie? Okay. I think so. Is it so. four? Is it four a.m.? Is it four a.m.? Because Cammy wants to stay on schedule. It's four a.m. I must be lonely. It's four o two. Four o two. So we're All good right. to go. Let's get head it going. Head over to the head over to the pie eating area. To our special specially made arena for the Ironman Pie the Champ. Pie Athlon. I got your core. It's Pie Athlon. Are you having mic issues? No. So how many people do we have competing? One, two, three, four. four. All right, cool. Do we have enough chairs? We need, we more need chairs. a we need a couple more chairs. chairs. We got get chairs. Them. Okay. No. <laughs> Give me another pie. Hello. Okay. Oh, there was some predictions that there might be lion taming yeah. and chairs, yeah, exactly. but they thought that that would happen later. I should, put, right. I should put the, the lion tamer hat on. I'll get it for you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So wait, let's see. Oh, there's a production crew. That's a Do live shot of the production crew. The Hard chef. work. Hey, Hi, guys. Hey. Good work over there. Thank you. All you out there, get to the donating. Let's do yeah, this. Yeah, let's do some donating. This segment. Oh, no. This isn't the biggest segment. I'm going to cry. We have it. 
Yeah. And we don't want to make Greg cry. No. Because that's not good for the really? pie making. I met seven Thank you. Donors. Seven donors. No, purging is not allowed. <laughs> so if you get to ten, we're set. Well, then we're going to have the biggest camera. segment. You hear that out there? If Dale Trumbly eats ten, we're going to have a huge segment. If I eat five, it would be a miracle. So right. <laughs> I didn't bring any t-shirts. I forgot. He's going to say the same thing about lemon pies and about no. pie. <laughs> and about <laughs> okay. You both know that I'm going to hurt you. Pie thing is not true, right? <laughs> I feel close enough to you to hurt you. You know that, right? <laughs> they are. I have plenty they, they of are. Um, that, though. Should we bring the contestants yeah, on? I think we should bring yeah. the contestants on. And I'm, uh, Do we have a hand mic? Yeah, we'll grab one. And I need the box, probably, because I don't have... I'm mic'd. You're mic'd. The and stage the is mic'd. There. The stage is hot, what? so they can hear the stage. Da-da-da! This? da 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 Careful. Careful, careful. Yeah. Coming through. Because I'm wearing the highest heels. <laughs> Clearly, if I'm wearing the highest heels. <laughs> if I'm wearing the highest heels, clearly I get to pick up the big box. Right? That's why I made you move the big chairs, too. It's the magic Ooh. pie box. What's in there? It's magic. Oh. Yummy, yummy pies. <laughs> Oh my god, it smells like pie. There's lots of pie. It smells like pie. It's going to smell like pie in here until it starts smelling like bacon in here. It's oh. going to be great. Mm. <sighs> you know, I really like the part where they feed us. I like those parts too. Mm -hmm. Look at that. What's that? Oh. Oh. The lemony goodness. Oh. Thank you. You haven't checked to see if it's really lemon yet. It says right? lemon. It, oh, it says lemon. If yeah. I bite into this. <laughs> okay. It's not lemon. Oh, I can tell. It's you should let me know if it's not lemon, because then... Oh. Yeah? Whoever is leading no, at the time that. should have to wear the safari hat. I've had seven. Oh, are we on, too? Mm -hmm. You want to you wanna send a shot, too? Where are we? He's got this camera. Right okay. We don't, we're not going to stand here. Hair and makeup time. did this to me. I don't know what the deal was. Let's let's get people on here because we need your your hours of wasting. Yeah. Let's go. Tick tock tick tock. Tick tock tick tock tick tock. Go go go. I feel. Choose your chair wisely. Hi, what's your name? Scott. Scott, I'm Cammy. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Good luck. I bet they're getting. Don't touch my lemon Nice to meet you. Where's your chair? Dude, I'm not allowed. She'll, Where's your chair? she'll go after me with those pointy uh, things. Oh, that's my chair. Hello. Welcome to Kitchen Stadium. Rick is not allowed right. to If one of you wins and jumps up on the table, you're automatically disqualified. No? Just to let you know. You're welcome. Nate, you in? Yeah. All right. What? I brought, I brought, I brought ten special uh, pulled pork pies for you. Okay. I thought we had four competitors. Do we have a fourth competitor? I think Hockley was joking about me. How about to Rosie? Rick is not allowed to compete. I made this very clear. Yeah. Come on, Rick. Pull up a chair. No, I, I don't, I don't cross cam. Those lights are very bright. Woo! You don't want to get makeup when you eat the pie. Throw it in the bag. You'll need makeup after you've consumed about four pies. And then we'll try and get that green tin. Yeah. You bring so, Greg, what are the official rules about this? Um, you have an hour to eat these. Uh, only whole pies count. So if you get nine pies in one bite, you are not the pie champ. Oh. We have seen, we've actually seen now like nine pies. He was and like three, three yeah, like the, the corner away from finishing before it. He had his Roman incident. Oh. Delicious. Oh, <laughs> he pushed it, though. Would you pass that down there, Mr. Hockley? Okay. Thank you, sir. So are we getting, like, like eight dodge damage? Yeah. kind of working? Yeah. They're mostly... You want to swap? We need to... Are they all sweet? You want something else? Are they all sweet? No, I'm there's some savories in there. All pumpkins and lemons, if possible. I mean, uh, it might as well be delicious, so I can hate all the flavors that I love later. I like this man. <laughs> 
That's good. That's smart thinking you're right there. Stuff. I like how you're playing. Right. Against these two All I'm doing right now is eating. You want to wait for the holiday season and all the rest of What do you mean? Everything I love, I'm not going to, I was like, it's like lemons and pumpkin. All right. And after today, I'm good for the rest of winter. 